Right, here we are with the smart thing top. So we're going to start off with the repairing. Connect this to my wireless box. Okay. Oh, we can see that it is connecting to the internet. It's currently orange. Although it looks green on the screen, there's a green and an orange one. Let's read some of the instructions. Here is the quick start guide. So, the free Smart Things app lets you get important notifications about what's happening. The hub sends commands from the free app to your connected things and sends important alerts from your things to your smartphone. You can add devices from Smart Things family of sensors or hundreds of other connected products to create a smart home that fits your lifestyle. So it lets you easily control, monitor the brain of your smart home. The, like a live-in translator, the hub wirelessly connects all of your different sensors around your home so you can improve, send important information to your smartphone and to each other. The smart things hub connects you to your inter internet router via the included ethernet cable. That's connected. Um, the hub has Zigbee, Z-Wave and Bluetooth radio and also supports IP accessible devices providing customers with the widest range of supported devices of any home platform. Now in all the evaluations I've seen in America it does look very much the best. Um, here we go. So easy, anyone can do it. Let's see if I fail. As with all SmartThings devices, the hub need, requires no wiring or messy installation. Just a simple setup that anyone can do. To be fair, it has got a plug. Simply plug in the included Ethernet cable, done, to your internet router. Attach the power cord to the wall, done. And then use the free Samsung SmartThings app to start connecting your de devices. Easy peasy. It's got a USB. USBs and it's got a reset button. Always useful um, when you mess up. Now then, we have it works best if installed in a central location. Well, it's got to be installed where my router is, to be fair. So my router only goes to uh, connects to this um, socket in my bedroom. Um, oh, connect it to your internet router using the ethernet cable, plug in the power adapter, continue setting up your hub by going to smartthings.com, start on your smartphone and following the on-screen instructions. Now this is where we're going to have a little bit of a problem. I might have to go to a different uh, camera. Battery backup installation. Disconnect the network cable and power adapter or any other connected peripherals. So I've got to undo everything I've just done. And then take apart my Samsung Smart Things box. So really, they should have told me to do that first. To break it. Oh, can you see where I've made a mess of my arm? Right. So 
I'm taking this, that's where the batteries come in. So we have four batteries here. Not easy to open. Let's have a look. Right. Here we go. That's two. I would get some scissors, but it means leaving you. Oh, I'm so excited about this. My fingers are all... I've got paint on my arm. Um, fiddly. Right. Okay. Now, I can put the top back on. I can see why... That is easy actually to put back on and now reconnect everything. Of course the wire has fallen down the back of the cupboard. Nope, wrong wire. Apparently that is everything, so the next video will be how to connect to smart things. I've got to find something to video this on.